Welcome to the AVG tutorial about how to remove some infection from your PC using AVG Rescue CD or USB. Let's say that we have some hypothetical situation where our PC is infected. In our example we are using testing malware file called Iker that is located in user files folder. And for some reason it is not possible to remove this infection standard ways. For example there is no AVG or any other antivirus program installed on this PC and it is even not possible to install it. In such a case, we can use AVG Rescue CD tool to skin the PC and remove this infection. Just insert the medium with prepared AVG Rescue CD and restart the computer. During the booting phase of your PC similar information should be displayed on your monitor. We want to initiate the boot menu, so as we are instructed we have to press F8 key on the keyboard. Please note, that the screen may vary depending on your motherboard manufacturer and key associated with boot menu selection may vary as well. So check the options and instructions written on your screen. Also please note, that you have to be quite quick to press this key as these options will be active just for few seconds. Now using the up or down arrow keys on your keyboard, select the source you want to boot from. Select CD-ROM drive in case you have burned the ESO image of AVG Rescue CD onto the CD or DVD. Or select removable devices in case you have extracted the AVG Rescue CD onto the USB flash drive. As we have plugged bootable USB flash drive, in our example we have to select removable devices option. And then press the enter key to confirm your choice. The AVG Rescue CD will firstly display a welcome screen. You can proceed directly by pressing the enter key or wait 10 seconds. If you need to specify some additional parameter, press F1. We will try to display these additional options by pressing the F1 key on the keyboard. Here you can see, what are the boot options or other command line keystrokes. We will use ARL keystroke to boot AVG Rescue CD. Let's confirm our choice by pressing the Enter key. Next step is to accept the license agreement. We recommend to read its wording in its entirety. You can scroll down using the down arrow key. If you understand and accept the license agreement press the enter key. During the actual booting, AVG Rescue CD will automatically mount all hard drives of the computer. Also, network connection will be automatically set. In the next step, you will be asked if you want to run update of AVG. It is recommended to perform it. Just press the enter key to initiate the update procedure. If you have a working internet connection, perform the online update. This will automatically download necessary files. If the computer is not connected to the internet, you can update from files you have previously downloaded from AVG web page and stored on the computer or on USB flash drive. Here you can select the priority of the update. We will keep the default priority too. Launch the update. Update is now in progress. After the update is finished, just press any key on your keyboard. To return back from update menu, switch to the return option using the right arrow key and confirm your selection by pressing the Enter key. After the booting and updating procedure is finished, you will be presented with simple user interface. To navigate between the options, use the arrow keys and enter to select them. To start a skin of the computer, select the skin option from the user interface. Because it is selected now by default, just confirm this option by pressing the Enter key. 
here you can select if you want to scan whole volumes on your hard drives, or if you want to scan just selected directory. In our example we want to scan just selected directory, as we know where our infection is located. Here you can see all mounted volumes. As we have only one volume in our PC, we have just to confirm the selection by pressing the Enter key. Here in this step are displayed information about how to work with directory selection menu. It is some kind of help. Now using the tab key switch the focus into the directories window. Now using the down arrow key select the needed directory. In our example we want to skin the user files directory. After the wanted directory is selected highlighted, you have to confirm its selection using the space bar key. You can see, that name of the directory we want to scan, appears under the directories window. Now you only need to confirm the start of the scan using the enter key. In the scan option dialog you can change the behavior of the scan. We will let the default values. You can stop the running skin at any time by pressing combination of keys CTRL plus E. The progress of the running skin will be displayed. Once finished, a skin report will be displayed. Press any key to continue. We are informed that there was some infection detected. Here in Skin Result menu you have to select how to handle the infection. We will select the option Individual. Here in this dialog you can see what file was detected as infected and the name of infection. Because we know what kind of infection it is and that infected file is not any essential one, we can simply delete it. In case you are not sure what to do, you can always select Rename File option. Such renamed files are then harmless for your PC and you can always restore them if needed. So select the needed action and confirm the action by pressing the Enter key. In this dialog you are asked if you really want to delete this file. In our example we can confirm this deletion. File is now deleted. Now we can go back to the main menu. Switch to the return option using the right arrow key. And confirm this option using the enter key. Again switch to the return option. And confirm it. Now we are back in the main menu. You can use additional options and tools that are available but we have already removed the infection from our PC, so we can exit the AVG Rescue CD. Use the right arrow key to highlight Exit option, and press the Enter key to confirm the selection. Yes, we really want to quit. In this last dialog we are just informed, that using the arrow command we can start the AVG Rescue CD again. You can visit our web pages, download installation files, documentation, check our FAQs, or contact our 24-7 technical support anytime. Thank you for your attention.